Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we're here to do your reading for the next seven days. Uh, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in this reading may or may not be for you, okay? So take what resonates and just leave the rest. What do we have for Libra for the week ahead? Mm, highly intuitive at this time. You may be keeping to yourself. You may be uh, receiving messages, uh, downloads, information, you know, that you're processing. Um, you probably are, you know, keeping it to yourself. Whatever, whatever messages that you're receiving, you're probably, you know, just maybe you're feeling like... Um, you don't want to reveal right now. You're just, you're taking it all in. You're taking it all in. You know. You know something is happening. Your intuition is telling you something. Ask and you shall receive. If, if you are looking for an answer, ask and you shall receive. You will receive the answer. But you cannot question. Do not question. Okay, the answer is going to come without question. Okay? Which means trust your gut. Your first... Your, the first answer that comes to your mind you ask a question and you probably you sometimes you don't get the answer immediately typically the answer will come out of the blue okay um, hours or even days after you ask the question you'll be in the car or you'll be doing the dishes and you'll get your answer ask ask if you're questioning something, ask and wait for the answer to come. And when the answer comes, it may sound absurd. Don't do that. Don't do that. Listen. There's a blockage here. This is the two of wands reverse. This is a blockage. Somebody is blocking their intuition. They're blocking their gut. Criticizing. This is over criticizing. <laughs> Doubting. Mm. Wow. Two of pentacles reverse. Somebody's made some poor decisions, which has caused a lot of upheaval in their life. Now, this is about compromising. It's about working together. It's about um, really listening and following another person's or following another set of plans, perhaps. Trying new things. These, the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles reversed. There's been a lack of teamwork. There's been a lack of partnership. Things have been too one-sided. Somebody has been trying to defend themselves, trying to protect themselves, trying to say, no, basically it's my way or the highway. Seriously, that's what I see here. Teamwork, working together is needed. Seeing something from another person's perspective. Trying something another way. Somebody is blocking. This is a blockage. Blocking a, a doorway. Blocking a new path from opening by perhaps doubting something. Misjudging. Seven of Wands is misjudging. Seven of Wands reversed. Okay. 
You may be feeling like you're being attacked. You definitely have your guard up. Maybe you need to let your guard down. Communication, communication, communication. Communicate, communicate, communicate. King of Coins. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is clarity. This is a wake-up call. The truth. Somebody could be communicating with the truth to you and you don't believe it. You don't want to believe it. That could be the case. This is blocking the truth. This Two of Wands is blocking the truth. King of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody who is very stable, very solid, very um, logical, very responsible. This person, you know, is very down to earth. This person knows what they want. This person is very stubborn. Once their mind is made up, their mind is made up. Nine of coins reversed. I, you know, the nine of coins reversed is be careful. There's a need to be disciplined here. There's somebody here that just doesn't want to be alone. And they're, you know, and they need to be alone. It's like, I don't want to be alone. But you have to remember that you complete you. Nobody else completes you. You're, you need to take action. You need to find the discipline to take care of you. So somebody is juggling, dealing with a player. This is my player card. Somebody is basically in a third-party situation. This three of coins, this two of wands. I don't want to be alone. No, somebody doesn't know their value. They don't know their worth. They think another person completes them when that is not true. That is not true. There's an opportunity to work together with someone else, but I think whoever somebody is holding on to is a player. They're involved in a third-party situation because they don't know the value, they don't know their worth. I think there's been some truthful communication or there's going to be some truthful communication that somebody is trying to block, you know, they're trying to deny. Yeah, some truth is going to is being revealed. Okay, the moon reverse. Some some sort of secret or lie and this is somebody's been keeping secrets if it's not you somebody it could be a pisces your pisces and this does represent pisces as well so you, i'm not sure if you're dealing with a pisces but you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn i don't know you're dealing with there's some sort of deception here okay that is about to be revealed or lie or truth or something that has been hidden somebody may have been playing you or you may have been playing could these could always go vice versa and these are just cue cards for me Somebody has been juggling, dealing with a player, because this is the Two of Pentacles reverse is my player card. Somebody has been played. Or they've been making a poor decision to hang on to something that doesn't serve them because they don't know their value and they don't know their worth and they can't they don't feel like they can work together with anybody else. They could be living in fantasy land because the moon does represent fantasy land. Escaping reality. This is a reality check, and this guy is it delivers a reality check. He is real. So somebody may, and this is reality, somebody may be getting a reality check. They've been blocking the truth. But it looks like now we have somebody here that is making progress to move forward. Finding the confidence within themselves to take action. And move away from the deception, move away from the lies to accept the truth. Somebody is going through some sort of transition. Yeah, somebody has been definitely tied to a toxic situation. Very toxic. I'm not kidding here either. Somebody has been holding on to an obsession, a lie. Now, the moon and the devil are both uh I'm going to gather my thoughts for a minute. They're both, they both are ruled by the shadow, okay? Stuff that is hidden. The things that you can't see. If you look at the shadows on my wall, it doesn't look like anything. I can make my shadows be whatever I want them to be, okay? I can. It's not actually my hand. On the wall, I can make it look like a duck, okay? 
So what you, somebody has been not seeing a situation as it really is. And they've been in denial. They've been living in fantasy land. Anyhow, this is escaping, escaping. But the, what they, the truth that they have been trying to escape can no longer be escaped because the truth is being delivered. There's somebody who has been involved in a toxic situation, maybe with a Capricorn. We have Capricorn here, both. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus, could be a Virgo, could be an Aquarius. Um, could be a Pisces. Anyhow, somebody has in, been involved in a situation. Could be anybody else as well. Somebody has been in a situation in which, you know, I think that the time is just about up. You see the hourglass is about to flip, okay? The time is just about up. Um, somebody's been in a very unhealthy situation where everything is about to come to light. It's like there's going to be a reality check here. Somebody's going to receive a reality. There could be a fight. There could be an argument um, that really causes some upheaval, causes, turns things upside down, send somebody, you know, on their own, send somebody out because this is going your own way. Maybe whether you like it or not. Um, this is finding the confidence and the courage to go in a different direction. Somebody is moving away. It's like they're moving away from this uh, unhealthy situation. There's been some sort of addictions, or these are both addictions as well. There's been some obsession. Somebody is obsessed. Somebody is absolutely obsessed. There's codependency here, big time. Definite, definitely, definite codependency. Somebody has been unable to break free from a situation that they felt it was, it was, they thought, they thought it was it. You know, they thought it was the one. They thought it was, They may have thought it was a soulmate or whatever. I, I mean, I, they could have been holding on for the children as well because there's children here. Um, somebody's been clinging to the past. They've been clinging to the memories. They've been they've been really reminiscing about the past and, and almost romanticizing the past, you know, refusing to let go, refusing to transition, refu needing to reevaluate, needing to let go. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take action. And I think that, you know, somebody is taking action here. Somebody is taking action. They are going to deliver a reality check. Somebody is trying to do the right thing. Somebody is trying to act with integrity. And, you know, somebody is finding the strength and the courage and the discipline to do the right thing. But we have this other person that is kind of like refusing to accept. For some of you, there's two options here. There's two options. You could either you could be dealing with somebody that has two options or you have two options. And somebody, some truth is about to be revealed. I feel like some, there could be some, there could be a third party situation here that comes to light. You know, the truth comes out that, you know, there's been some sort of whatever, you know. Uh, unhealthy, uh, there's been some sort of, you know, this is lust. This is lust, okay? Somebody may have acted impulsive. This is very impulsive. Very impulsively, you know. They may have acted very impulsively and got themselves involved in a toxic situation that is now coming to an something is coming to an end the time is up as you can see some one chapter is over the time is up it's up somebody's learned a lesson karmic lesson 
somebody has learned a karmic lesson here. Some, seriously, karma lesson. So Libra, the time is up. Probably by the 21st, probably by the 21st, anywhere from the 18th to the 21st, somebody is going to make a decision. This is a decision. This is this guy is very decisive as well. Somebody is going to make a decision, a final decision, to complete a chapter, to complete a cycle, to end it, to to step over that finish line. This is finished and this is finished. Somebody, somebody's one phase of your life is about to change. One one chapter in your life is about to end. Okay, somebody has learned a karmic lesson. You know, can you know you can check that one off your list. This has to do with self-worth, self-value, um, addictions, obsessions, reality. Somebody has been refusing to accept reality with that moon, not seeing things clearly, you know, looking at, you know, the, you think about that shadow side, yeah, it looks good, but it's not really what it is. Not looking below the surface, refusing to see what's below the surface, not trying to see what's below the surface. We have, we have somebody here that um, is, like I said, trying to do the right thing, that is going to do the right thing. And I think that they're, what they're going to do is take that cord, uh, that cord, that sword to sever the cords, okay? Because the devil, you know, it's the cords, the chains. I think there are some chains that are about to be severed and somebody is about to, you know, travel to a new destination because that's what the world is. We have a major new beginning here when you get the world card. One phase is, is of your life is coming to an end. And I think that um, whatever is happen happening is going to lead you to something better. Okay, It is going to lead you to something better, but you're probably going to be going your own way. You're probably going to be going, doing, starting this new chapter by yourself Okay, with this Nine of Pentacles. I feel like it goes from two to one. Okay, it does. It goes because this is independence. It goes from two to one. It goes from, you know, holding on to something that caused a lot of chaos, caused a lot of upheaval, caused a lot of ups and downs, a third party situation for sure, where there's too many fingers in the pie. Absolutely. Too many fingers, too much, too much fighting, too much bickering, too much indecision. I think that you know, we are dealing with somebody here that has had a couple of options and I think that this person has made their choice and now it's a time of acceptance because if this phase is over, it's done, it's completed, this cycle is over, it's, the time is up, there's, there's nothing left to hold on to anymore, it's over with, it's done. Um, this is the end of an unhealthy toxic situation that somebody has been chained to. Somebody has been clinging, clinging to the past, refusing to drop it, refusing to let it go. High Priestess. But now they know they know it's time. They know it's time. We got somebody here that is waking up. That is no doubt. Somebody's intuition is telling them, whether it's yours or the person that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a fire sign or an earth sign or a Pisces or another Libra or any other sign. Somebody's, whether it's yours or the other person's, somebody's intuition is telling them that it's time to end a significant phase. It's over. 
Some, it's time for the final decision. It's time to speak the truth. It's time to act with integrity. It's time to do the right thing for me. It's time to accept responsibility. It's time to be practical. It's time to be real. It's, it, it's, it's time. It's time to break free from these toxic chains and take the lead and head out of this, head out of this unhealthy situation by myself. Yep, somebody has been avoiding the challenge. Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with fear of not having anybody. Overwhelmed with fear of change. This is fear of change up here as well. It is fear of change. Fear of letting go. Bitterness, resent, vindictive, angry, upset. Not seeing the situation clearly. Refusing to see the situation clearly. clearly. Not being logical. So upset that you can't see something clearly. But I think we have somebody here that has woken up. This is independent. Somebody's going their own way. Been hurt. Four of swords reversed. Totally, totally, totally exhausted. Frustrated. We have somebody here that has been isolating themselves, not allowing themselves to be happy. Their health is going downhill because they're focusing on this toxic, devilish. The devil will kill you. You have to find the strength to rise up from any loss that you were endure. Somebody has become mentally exhausted and they have isolated themselves from the world. But I think that phase is over because we have this major completion here. We have a major change coming for you, Libra. You are about to start a whole new chapter. I think that you know that this is coming. I think that you've known that this was coming. But letting go and cutting that cord and severing that tie is the hardest thing to do. But I think that there's there's going to be some some sort of verdict, some sort of final decision. There could be some legal issues that arise over this. Somebody, you know, could be filing for divorce or something like that some sort of truth some sort of communication or some sort of message that is going to come through that is going to give somebody a huge reality check that life as you know it is over freedom birds Symbol, freedom. It's time for you to fly. You know it's time. You know it is. It's time for you to go your own way. Somebody else has made the decision for you. It's time for you to live again. It's time for you to let go of the loneliness. It's time for you to let go of the bitterness. It's time for you to accept this challenge and start your new life. And that's what this is about. Is there new love coming in? No. Mm -mm. There's no love here. Because it's, you're going through a major completion. This is the completion of all completions. It is. You have successfully completed one karmic lesson.
There is another option, though. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. You will meet your match. This is a choice. This is a card of consequences as well. So there's consequences for holding on to a toxic situation when there's an opportunity for a match made in heaven elsewhere. Interesting. So Libra, I feel like you will meet somebody else, somebody that is perfect for you. This person is not who you think it is. This person will come into your life unexpectedly. This person is not who you think it is. I felt the need to repeat that. This person will help you to heal from this unhealthy situation that you have been chained to. They will come this is this will happen after you complete this cycle. After you have learned this karmic lesson, you will get this soulmate. So yeah, that's what I got. I feel like this this could uh this new person that's going to come into your life For those of you that have let go, that have released, I mean, it could come in June. It could come in June. It could come in the next six months. It will probably come within six months of the time that you actually step over that finish line. Once the final verdict is in. When somebody has made the final decision to sever the ties with the toxic situation and step over that finish line within six months. You will meet your perfect match. But you have to stop clinging. You have to stop clinging. This is a karmic lesson about self-worth, about self-love. About forgiveness, about release about listening, about letting go. About surrendering, really. Anyway, you do have somebody new that's going to come into your life. This person is not your usual type. It's not who you think it is. In case you think you know who it is, it's not who you think it is. I don't think you have met this person yet. And so Libra, that's what I got. I feel like right now there's bitterness, there's resent, there's anger, there, you're upset, there's, there's, there's upset. We have somebody here that is very upset with the reality check that they have just been given. So it's a time of, you know, acceptance. It's a time of completion, you know, realizing that this is over and accepting it. And knowing that something better is coming. And I think that you know that. There will probably be chaos and upheaval for the next two months. Within four months, you will probably feel like, you know, it's, it's time to get up. It's time to go out. It's time to start living again. And probably within six months, you'll meet this other person. That's what I got. Good luck.